Our last speaker is Jim Feng from Zhejiang University, and he's going to talk about TextBugger. Thanks for the introduction. I'm Jim. I'm Jim Feng Li from Zhejiang University, China. Today I'm going to introduce our research project, TextBugger, and this work is collaborated with Shaolin, Tianyu, Bali, and Tianwan. Recent years, in test domain, uh, machine learning ha has achieved great success in many tasks, such as sentiment analysis, information extraction, question answering, and so on. Due to its impressive performance, many IT companies have launched their own machine learning as a service for natural language processing. However, recent works in image and uh, speech domain have revealed that deep neural networks are vulnerable to adversarial attacks. So we wonder whether adversarial attacks also exist in test domain, and whether the machine learning as a service for NLP also vulnerable to adversarial test. So what is the adversarial test? Here is an example, and we can see that just by adding three small perturbations, the new test is misclassified by Amazon Sentiment Analysis Service with a high confidence value. And, uh, uh, but, it is, but it still can be correctly classified by humans because it pre preserves most of the original millions. And we all know existing works on adversarial attack mainly focus on uh, image and speech domains. Because it, it is more challenging to deal with test data due to the discrete property, which is hard to optimize. And in testers, small perturbations are you are you clearly perceptible. Besides, the replacement of a single word may drastically alter the semantics of the sentence. Such challenges have motivated uh, intensive research on generating adversarial tests, and the existing works can be summarized into four main categories, such as the gradient-based methods or replacing words with out-of-vocabulary out of ones and some other methods. However, even though these methods are similar, they are limited in practice due to, due to at least one of the following reasons. For example, many of them are limited to short tests, and they are not computationally efficient. Given, given the above limitations and challenges, we propose TestBugger, a general framework for generating adversarial tests against state-of-the-art test classification systems under both white box and black, bo black box settings. In the white box scenario, since we have complete knowledge about the target model, we conduct a test by using the gradient information. And in the black box scenario, we don't know the model architecture, parameters, or training data. We are only capable of querying the models with output as the predictions or confidence scores. So in this case, we conduct a test by observing the change of confidence values after perturbations. At a high level, test bugger can be summarized into three main steps. The first step is to find important words that contribute to the final predictions most. And for white box attack, we find important words by computing the Jacobin metric of the class fair's prediction with respect to the input test, which is denoted X. And the importance of the ith word in X is denoted by CXI, which equals to the ith component of the Jacobin matrix. And for black box attack, we first find important sentences to improve efficiency, and then we find important words for each important sentence, uh, for each important sentence, sentence, by directly measuring the effect of removing each word. And the second step is to generate perturbations, and we call the slightly changed perturbed words as bugs. 
Taking human perception into consideration, we carefully designed five kinds of perturbations. They are insert, delete, swap, sub-C, and sub-W. And the third step is to replacing the important words by the generated bugs. First, we choose the optimal bug that can maximize the change of the confidence value from the candidates. And then we replace the important word by the selected optimal bugs. Finally, we, we repeated the second and the third steps until converge, convergence, and we set two terminating conditions to guarantee the convergence. The first one is that the semantic similarity is below the threshold, and uh, the second one is that the new test is misclassified by the classifier while preserving the semantic similarity above the threshold. And uh, we evaluate test bugger on two real-world applications, the assignment analysis and the toxic content detection here. We only showed the evaluation on sentiment analysis. In our evaluation, we applied two public data sets. They are IMDB and uh, MR. For white box attack, we evaluate test bugger on linear regression, CNN, and uh, ASTM. And for, white bo for black box attacks, we evaluate test bugger on 10 real world online platforms. We also implemented and compared the other four methods with test bugger. And we used uh, four metrics such as Euclidean distance and uh, semantic similarity. First of all, we show several qualitative evalu evaluation results of test bugger. Uh, this figure is the visualization of the, fun the important words selected by test bugger, and we can see that the found important words are indeed negative ones. And this figure shows two pieces of successful attack examples, and we can see that even though, although they contain small perturbations, they preserve most of the original meaning and has, have little impact on human understanding. Then we show the quantitative evaluation results on attack performance. Table two summarizes the evaluation results under white box setting. And we can see that choosing important words to modify is necessary because random perturbation almost had no influence on the final results. Test bugger had high attack sex rate on all models and outperforms the baselines. In addition, test bugger is evasive. And the table three shows the evaluation results under black box settings, and we can see that test bugger has high attack sex rate against all online platforms with fewer words perturbed than deep word bug. In addition, Test bugger is more efficient. We also visualized the sentiment score distribution of the perturbed test and the corresponding original test. And we can see that test bugger greatly changes the confidence value of the classification results. And among the five platforms, what thing is more sensitive to the adversary test generated by test bugger? From a test perspective, successful adversary tests should not only trigger the models to misbehave, but also preserve most of the original utilities. Therefore, we used four metrics to evaluate the utility of the generated adversary test. And the added, the added distance and the, and the jacket coefficient reflects the wood level utilities, and the Euclidean distance and the semantic similarity reflects the vector level utilities. And from these figures, we can conclude that the generated adversary test preserves good word level and uh, vector level utilities. For black box attack, we compared the utility of the adversary test generated by deep word bug with those generated by test bugger. And we can see test bugger generates higher quality adversary test than deep word bug. 
Uh, we also analyzed the impact of document lens on attack performance. From subfigure A and subfigure B, we can see that the document lens has little impact on success rates, but may decrease the change of negative confidence value. And from subfigure C, we can see the time required for generating one adversary test increased slightly as the lens grows. And we also analyzed the impact of document lens on the utility of the generated adversary test. And we can see that longer document lens leads to more perturbed words, but the increasing perturbed words don't decrease the semantic similarity of the adversary test. Uh, in addition, we analyzed the robust list of different platforms to different kinds of bugs. And from this figure, we can see that Azum and AWS are sensitive to the insert bug, and uh, Watson and the bus test are sensitive to sub C. Among the five kinds of bugs, delete and sub W are used less than others. We also analyzed the transferability the transferability of the generated as adversary test. As shown in table seven, we can conclude that transferability also exists in adversary test. This indicates that attacker can use this property to transfer the black box attack into white box attack. And we also performed a user study on Amden Amturk to see whether the added perturbation will affect the human understanding, and we can see um, and we found that about 95% of original tests can be correctly classified by participants, and uh, about 94% of the adversary tests can be classified as their original labels. This indicates that adversary tests generated by test bugger are hard to distinguish. And from subfigure B, we can see that insert is the most uh, human perceptible perceptible bug, and sub W is the most robust bug because it is hard to be noticed. And we have reported our findings to the corresponding companies and received positive re response. They claimed that they will adopt our suggestions in the updated version to defend against such attacks to guarantee the security of their service. In conclusion, in in this work, we made the following contributions. First, we proposed test bugger for generating adversary tests effectively and efficiently. We evaluated the test bugger on 15 on real-world real online pl platforms on three datasets and two applications. We conducted a user study on our generated adversary test, and we further discuss two potential defense strategies to defend against such attacks. Thank you for your patience. Uh, Jiamen Pu from Virginia Tech. Uh, so I have a question. Uh, how is the computational uh, complexity of this method? Because uh, I noticed... Um, sorry, beg your pardon. I can't uh, hear you clearly. Oh, sorry. Uh, how is the computational complexity of this method? Um, oh, of their method or of, uh, test bugger? Yeah. Test bugger. Yes. So, uh, so I noticed um, um, even if you, uh, you, you firstly f uh, try to find important sentences and uh, important words, right? And um, you have uh, five choices, uh, swap, uh, uh, yes. sub substitute, substitute words, something like that. And, uh, for example, if you insert a space uh, in, uh, inside the word, and you have uh, so many choices. Uh, and uh, have, I'm, I mean, in, in, uh, for text debugger, did, uh, you need to try all of them, or you have some? 
other strategy. And uh, we have analyzed the document lens on the required time for gener generating one adversary test. Uh, results is showing subfigure C. And we can see that as the document length grows, the time required for generating one adversary test increased just slightly. Okay. So uh, the computation, computational complexity, I think, is a, a sublinear. Okay. Uh, so uh, when you uh, try to uh, finalize a, uh, so uh, how to modify a word, a, a word did you uh, have you tried all of them all of the five strategies for example insert a space uh, uh, for each important word uh, we will generate five, five bugs as the candidates Okay. And then choose one, uh, choose the optimal uh, optimal box from the candidates. Okay. So you choose five. five. Okay. Five. Uh, so let's uh, let's take one of mine. Let's okay. go to the next question. Okay. Later. Thank you. Hi, uh, Xiao Jing Liao from Indiana University, Bloomington. Yeah, I'm uh, interesting. Uh, since the uh, sentiment analysis and toxic content detection is originally uh, not a perfect. Uh, uh, not, not always show perfect performance. So do you compare the false positive of this model and your adversarial example? Compare the false positive? False positive of the false model positive. originally and your adversarial example. Since this uh, model, uh, like sentiment analysis, you test several black box model, right? And this model is not perfect and sometimes reports some false positive in your data set. Yeah, do you compare the false positive and the uh, ex adversary example you generated? Maybe, maybe I didn't. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hi, uh, this is Jolie from UC Irvine. Uh, so you mentioned you uh, have reported your results to a couple of companies and uh, received their uh, um, positive response. feedbacks. Yes. So can you be more specific about uh, uh, their plan, the company's plan on what kind of, uh, uh, I mean, uh, patch or fix they will do to address your problem? And in our paper, we discussed the two potential defender strategies. Uh, one is spelling check, and uh, the, the another is adversary training, mm -hmm. and uh, we write a detailed report to show the mm -hmm. performance of the defense mm -hmm. and uh, report, report them to the corresponding companies. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so, so they will take uh, both solution? What they, um, like, I mean, so they will take spell check or they will take uh, adversary machine learning? Which one? Uh, maybe the, maybe spelling check is, will be more effective because uh, bec uh, if we apply adversary training, it means that we need need more uh, need e enough adversary test, and uh, we should know the attack strategy from the attackers. So. So if the uh, if the if attackers keep their attack strategy private, uh, th that the adversary training method may be useless. So we think the spelling checks will be more effective. Okay, thank you. So this concludes our session. Please join us outside for a student grant meet and greet and a poster reception. Thank you. <laughs>